Vegans are cookie cutters in a sense that they all need to season their food extensively to make it palatable, or they need to eat extreme amounts of sugar. And the similarities that I've seen in many, many vegan day of eatings over the past few weeks are the need to eat dessert after every meal. They have like a snack or a pick-me-up after every meal. They always use a blender, and literally almost every single food they're eating is made in a laboratory or shipped halfway across the world for them to eat it. The hypocrisy of this diet and these people thinking it's healthy, especially considering it's almost entirely empty calories, considering the lack of micronutrients in most plant foods, at least bioavailable forms of them, is just completely, completely crazy. Uh, so we're going to look at that. And unfortunately, you know, kind of, I, I just feel like these people are just sheep and they're brainwashed by this idea of being plant based. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vlog on what I eat in a day. I am going to the gym and doing a really heavy leg day. I also don't track my macros. If you're wondering right now, I'm not tracking them. I'm tracked out for my bikini competition, even though that was like four months ago. But it was so much work, so like, I give it up to all you who compete. But yeah, I'm not tracking my macros right now, I'll be honest. But oh yeah, keep in mind that I am plant-based, so everything that I eat today is like, obviously dairy-free, no animals, like I just, I'm plant-based, so I don't eat any of that. I'm plant-based, so I don't eat any of that. Actually, does this girl have a deeper voice than me or what? So I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. So for breakfast, I'm going to have a full bagel, and I like to put a little bit of this special spread on it. And so what's in the spread is basically just a scoop of minced garlic, a scoop of this vegan mayo, and then you season it with a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of onion powder, and you mix it all up, and there it is. No, that's it. You just need half the pantry to make it taste good. And so I'm gonna put that on my bagel, and I'm gonna cut up some um, cucumber, and then just like have it as a little sandwich. I also eat a full avocado, and I love avocado so much that I put a ton of hot sauce, black pepper, and salt on it because I love avocado. So I just kind of eat it with a spoon. So I did put a little bit of avocado oil in it, black pepper, pink Him Himalayan salt, because I'm fancy, <laughs> and um, Louisiana hot sauce. That's the best hot sauce, by the way. Don't talk about, don't talk about pink Himalayan salt to Mr. Salt Expert over here. Don't get me started on salts. You wanna you wanna buy some good salts, get some French salts, some Celtic salts, then then we'll start talking, miss. So yeah, I just eat it kinda like this, and yeah, there's my breakfast. So I ate my avocado, both halves. And here is my bagel. Just kidding. My bagel. And don't make fun of me when I say bagel. I'm from Minnesota, leave me alone. This is it. She's beautiful, isn't she? So there's the spread, and then I put cucumber on it, and I just do like so, and eat her. And then I have my water, because you need to drink water, stay hydrated. I mean, that meal is what? Just macronutrients, right? You got some carbohydrates from the bagel, you got some fats from the avocado, no real source of micronutrients in that meal. And we could kind of go over like the anti-nutrient content of those foods. Uh, but th the main premise that I'm just going to focus on this video is inflammatory omega-6 fats are present in almost every vegan meal. As well as just, I mean, she needed half her pantry to make that food taste good. Come on. So I also, I'm still hungry. So I decided to have a yogurt. How are you still hungry after eating that much food? Is this dessert number one for the day? I can't tell you how many times I've seen vegan day of eatings where after the first, the bre after breakfast, they're having dessert. And this is a coconut milk yogurt and it's so, so good. You can get it at like any grocery store. Mostly, like I just know for sure it would be at Whole Foods though. It's at Whole Foods, so it's good for you, right? Can she see through all that makeup and those eyelashes? I just got back from the gym. Wow, look at that shiny forehead. Of course I have.
have to have my blessed protein. Mm. It is plant-based. It has 23 grams per scoop, and I like chocolate coconut. It also comes in vanilla chai or salted caramel. So I'm gonna have a scoop of blessed protein. That counts as dessert number two in my book, and protein bioavailability on a vegan diet is only really attainable in a high amount from these protein powders because bioavailability of these vegan protein powders is like 80 to 90 percent whereas actual plant-based foods are like 50 60 percent so on one hand it's the only real way they can get protein but it's not a natural way you you couldn't actually get enough protein in the context of a muscle building diet without artificially adding it through protein powders and I'm also going to make a Alfredo sauce. I make it homemade and I make it from cashews. Um, let me know if you want the recipe. So leave that in the comments if you want the recipe for my vegan. What bothers me is I bet if you ask this girl how cashews were made and how that gnocchi pasta was made, she would not ever touch them again. Google how cashews are made and tell me you should be eating them. And that gnocchi, although it might not be bad, I mean, in, in the most contexts, it's just flour, egg, and potato. Uh, I'm, I'm curious how they made that without the, I guess they just made it without the egg. An Alfredo sauce, but I'm gonna pour it over these, I don't know, I think they're called no, nochi. I don't know, but they're like potato balls and they're so good. And they're super easy to make. You just put them in boiling water and they're done within like five minutes. So that's going to be what's for lunch. So what are you making, mother? I am making homemade cabbage vegetable soup. We're warming it up because warming we don't use the microwave anymore. No, ma'am. Because it's bad for you. Yes, it is. So we made this last night and it's so good. It's just cabbage soup. So I guess I'm going to have a side of this too because why not? Vegetables. All veggies. So here's my vegan Alfredo, and here are my gnocchi. Not pictured a blender, but will we go for another ride in the blender later? Will we? Cashews, very high omega-6, very, very inflammatory plant food. I'm curious how long she's going to end up on this diet before we see drastic changes, you know, in her face, in her body. I'm generally curious. I think she's only been on this vegan diet for around a year, maybe less. So I'm just gonna pour that in there a little bit, see how much I need. Mix it on up. Yeah, that's perfect. So excited to eat this. Well, that's good. So I had half of the package. I'm not sure how many calories this is and I really honestly don't care. I'm just excited to eat this. Five hours later. So I've just taken a shower. It's a little bit before dinner, um, but I'm gonna have a snack. And this is actually from a snack from my app. And in my app, I have different meals that you can cook, different snacks, pretty much like a whole day set for you of your different meals. So this is something from my app. It's chia seed pudding, and it's made with almond milk and chia seeds, and then you put on fruit. Um, you just put blueberries and stuff. All right, in there dessert too. number three. Just, dessert number three, we get it. Pretty much just like add all these ingredients. Recipe. Um, it's so good. And she, these noodles. She doesn't show this pad thai noodle recipe in this video. It's like, I don't know why she doesn't show the recipes for all this, but. Uh, one funny thing is she she talks about the shirataki noodles and she calls them shiitake noodles. It, like, this girl doesn't even know what she's eating and what she's putting in her body. But. It's, it's very, very safe to say that she has no understanding of ingredients, no understanding of how foods are made. Hello, I'm having one last snack for the night, and it's banana ice cream. Dessert number four. It's not a snack. So what you do is you take bananas from the freezer, and like, honestly, one is not enough. It just makes like a little tiny bit. So like, I'm doing two, and basically, Two bananas, my type of girl. So you like peel them, um, actually run them underwater first because that's how you get like the skin to be a little bit softer. So peel them and then you put the, I put mine in my little ninja blender or if you have a blender, whatever. 
So peel them, pour a little bit of milk in there. Um, definitely not regular milk unless you're into that. The irony of definitely not regular milk is that raw grass-fed milk is actually nutritionally complete, has every vitamin and mineral you need. And she's showing almond milk, which is literally a cup of anti-nutrients with no nutrient value whatsoever. Sort of thing, but I drink almond milk and then, so just a little bit of that and then like I guess maybe a little bit of ice, but just see kind of like how it turns out. Just not too much milk, because you literally want it to be like ice cream, not like a like a runny smoothie. So, and then I also put in a little bit of dairy-free chocolate chips because I want chocolate. So, yeah. <laughs> Woo! It's just me, myself, and I. Oh, she did it for me. I don't have Later to say woohoo. I'm gonna open an amusement park for vegans. It's just gonna be a bunch of like whirlpool rides and they can just simulate their love for blenders all day. Uh, I think I've had enough of this video though. All right, we're not gonna take a look at every single processed food she ate today because she did not show all the recipes, but uh, the first thing is the just mayo and it's pretty much just vegetable oil, very, very high omega-6, no real source of nutrients in it, modified food starches, white distilled vinegar, sugar, Spices, uh, you know, fitting with the theme here, you need to add sugar and spices to make a vegan food palatable. And expel or press canola oil. Definitely, you know, I think high omega-6 diets and vegetable oils are one of the reasons that cardiovascular diseases are so prevalent now. If we take a look at this peach yogurt, it's organic coconut milk, organic cane sugar, uh, rice starch, peaches, less than 2% calcium citrate, pectin, starch, live cultures, fruit and vegetable juice for color, vitamin D2, vitamin B12. What this is doing, it's replicating natural things that would occur in a high vitamin food. Uh, by adding cultures, you know, fermented foods tend to have higher amounts of certain vitamins. So they're replicating the flavor of fermented foods without actually adding a reasonable amount of vitamins. Uh, they actually did add vitamin D2 to this, but vitamin D2 has no bioavailability. How, why would they add vitamin D2 to this yogurt? That doesn't. And vitamin D2 is actually uh, dangerous in a lot of contexts for human to be consuming. I know there are adverse effects from consuming D2 as opposed to D3, which is the animal form, which is what we're supposed to be consuming. But uh, you know, really, just empty calories. Uh, you know, they they actually added B12 to this too. Go figure. This is the protein powder, pea protein isolate, sunflower oil, creamer, inulin, fire gum, arabic, natural sweeteners, stevia, rock salts, silent, this, these, and then blood cashews. If, if you're okay with slaves picking your cashews for your gnocchi pasta, go ahead. I, I think these vegans and these plant-based people are a bit disconnected uh, from reading their food label. Uh, oh, what we didn't touch on was, so that girl had one dessert. She had the coconut dessert after her breakfast. She had the smoothie dessert after her workout. Then she had a chia pudding dessert, I believe, before dinner. And then after dinner, she had another dessert, four desserts in one day. Completely crazy. And she did actually break out the blender, but I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. So this vegan girl ate four desserts throughout her day. Is this not completely crazy? I don't really want to go too much more into this. You guys can do your own research on all the food she's eating, the lack of nutrients in her diet, the negatives of high omega-6 inflammatory fats. So if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. Uh, if you guys want to check out anything in the description from my Patreon to my Amazon shop, lots of interesting stuff uh, for you guys to look into. Um, but thanks for watching. If you guys want some makeup, you know, what I don't like is that I know more about these plant foods than these vegans do. So if any of you vegans out there want some vegan diet consulting, shoot me an email.